As we close out the year, I was trying to come up with a deep and profound message, and I ended up finding it in the unlikeliest of places, a pop song by Ariana Grande. I am definitely not hip enough to be on top of the latest hits, but I have been listening to Ariana Grande's Thank You Next on repeat. I love this song. In the lyrics, Ariana is speaking in the context of her ex-boyfriends and why she's so grateful that each relationship didn't work out because she learned so much from each one. When she says, thank you, next, she's basically saying goodbye, on to the next one. The reason that I love this song is not so much because of the relationship piece, but because I feel the idea of thank you next is how we should approach life. And it's really inspired me to look at next year differently. For me, this past year has been filled with so many unexpected blessings and surprises. I got a new job, I got a new niece, but like every year, this year was also filled with lots of disappointments, loss, failure, and setbacks. In some ways, I feel that I've come such a long way, and in others, I feel that I am so far from where I want to be. Waiting patiently for the things that you want is extraordinarily difficult. And when life deals you setbacks, it's easy to think that it is never going to happen for you, whatever it is for you. This song reminded me that life is constantly changing. You are not the same person who you were 365 days ago. And every relationship, every opportunity, every chance that you took has played a part in shaping you and changing you. I used to fixate on setbacks as proof that things were never going to get better. But literally saying out loud, thank you next, is affirming that nothing stays bad forever. In fact, I want to savor these moments because everything is going to be different this time next year. Those three little words, thank you next, speak volumes. They say, got it, thank you, learn the lesson, what's next, let's keep it moving. Maybe this was a really tough year for you, and if so, I am so sorry to hear that. But if you are healthy, if you have family, if you have just one true friend, then believe me, you have a lot. So let's say thank you next. Let's give gratitude for the good and for the bad. And let's remain optimistic and excited for all the wonderful things that are coming next.